Okay, you've been thinking, I'm thinking about moving to Staten Island, but where exactly should I go and live? Well, this video is going to tell you. Hi, my name is George S. Wanaka with Search Staten Island Realty, powered by Wanaka Realtors and Appraisers, located right here in Staten Island, New York. So today we're going to do a video that features about some of the best places for you to live in Staten Island, New York, which is going to go all into depending on what your lifestyle actually happens to be. Some people want more access to parks. Some people want more access to nightlife in the city. We're going to hit all those right now. So make sure you hit that subscribe button along with that little bell because we do so many more videos about living right here in Staten Island, New York. And this way you get notified as soon as we put a new video out there. So don't forget to subscribe. The best part is if there's an area that we just haven't done yet and you'd like to know a little bit more, do me a favor, comment down below and let me know and maybe that might be the next video that we do. So let's get started. You know, I'm constantly talking with buyers and sellers about information about Staten Island and living right here in Staten Island, New York. But we can't do a video if we don't know what your question is. So in case you're not commenting below, here's another way to get in contact with me. Either call or, or send me a text message or shoot me an email. I just love answering questions about what it's like to live right here in Staten Island, New York. And hopefully I'll be able to help you as well. So one of the first areas I'm going to go right into is, quite frankly, it's an area that I live in and I love. I've grown up here my whole life. I'm talking about Westerly. Located on the North Shore of Staten Island, Westerly is one of Staten Island's oldest neighborhoods. You have a mix of older colonials, Cape Cod style houses, ranch style houses. You've got an eclectic mix of a lot of different types of houses located right here in Westerly. And Westerly's got a lot of also parks. You've got Westerly Park. You've got Clove Lakes Park. You're in close proximity to shopping, transportation. Uh, you've got all sorts of stores and shopping along Victory Boulevard and Jewett Avenue. I mean, Westerly is one of the nicest areas on the North Shore. That's not to discard any other um, areas on the North Shore. And quite frankly, I'm impartial to it because this is where I live. But that being said, Westerly's got a lot of things that a lot of people seem to enjoy. And as if you needed any more proof that it's a great place to live. Westerly, in one of their other videos, was rated one of the top five properties of living in Staten Island. So go and check that video out if you haven't already. One of the next areas we're gonna talk about is actually right towards the middle of Staten Island, which is known as Newdorp. Now, Newdorp has a lot of different things for a lot of different people. Obviously, Newdorp is known for its corridor, Newdorp Lane, which has tons of shops, has tons of different restaurants, and is just a, a go-to place for shopping as well as dining. You also have the Newdorp train station, which also meanders its way down through Tottenville, and it gives people a, an opportunity to get to the ferry in order to commute to Manhattan. There's, you have Miller Field Park, which is down in Newdorp Beach, now down just past Newdorp High School. So Newdorp has a lot of older homes as well, a lot of big old um, uh, a lot of bigger, older homes, older tree-lined streets. Some of these trees are just enormous, and it's one of the nicest areas as well on Staten Island, bar none. Another great and upcoming area, which is starting to look to regenerate, if you will, is down in St. George. St. George is right across the street from the ferry, across the street from Barrow Hall, right across the street from the courthouse, and great proximity to the city, which a lot of people want that nightlife. And St. George is starting to build up. There's a lot of new construction down in St. George. There's a lot of condos that are going in, trying to draw that city crowd in. So if that's what you're kind of looking for, St. George is not a bad option for you. Another really great area right here in Staten Island, New York, is Great Kills. Great Kills as well was one of the top five places to live right here in Staten Island on a previous video that we did based on sales statistics. Why? Well, just like everything else, Great Kills has shopping. It has a train station as well as it has transportation options and city buses that go on Highland Boulevard and go on Richmond, Ro Richmond Avenue, which also lead to the Staten Island Mall. 
Great Kills has a lot of on the newer construction side, but has a lot of ranches, has a lot of semi-attached houses, has a lot of attached houses, but it gives you that spaced out density where if you're coming from another borough, such as Brooklyn or Queens, a lot more space than you've probably ever had before. That's why Great Kills is definitely a great spot to potentially live in. And to close out this video, one of the places which also made the top five properties, Tottenville. Now, Tottenville is on the very south shore of Staten Island. It's the southernmost tip of New York State. So, Tottenville is very unique in that way. There is transportation options and very close to the bridges to get to New Jersey. And there is a, a train station also in Tottenville as well. You've got a lot of fine dining, which we talked about in our previous videos. But the thing with Tottenville is, again, you've got a lot more space, a lot more bigger pieces of property out in Tottenville. We talked about McMansions on one of our other videos that we had done. Well, you've got a lot of those in Tottenville as well. And that what makes Tottenville a real desirable place to live in, especially if you're coming from one of the outer boroughs where you're not accustomed to all of the room. Tottenville is definitely a place that should be on your places to be. Now, if you had to commute to the city, everything always goes back to what do you want your commuting time to be? Because that's one of the, the detriments of living on the south end of the island is your commute time. So that was a pretty quick breakdown of the four places that I think are great places to live in right here in Staten Island, New York. Again, my name is George S. Wanaka. I'm an agent here with Search Staten Island Realty powered by Wanaka Realtors. If you have any further questions for me, do me a favor, drop a comment below or right down below, call me at, at our office number or send me an email or find me on any of my social mediums. If you're relocating here or potentially moving here or getting transferred here, guess what? If you've got any questions, always feel free. Give me a call, send me a text message, send me an email, day or night. It's always my pleasure to do what I can to try and help you the best way I can. And oh yeah, don't forget, give us a subscribe and a like for this video because we continue to do tons and tons of videos right here about living in Staten Island, New York. That being said, we'll see you next time.